I'd like to review this problem. It comes from section 2.9 regarding the dot product. But it, we're asked to find the magnitude of the projection. So you know, making sure our answer comes out in magnitude form. But we're projecting force along u-axis. So we're looking for how much is F projected along u. So here's the force. It's coming out here through A. Now this looks almost like it's in the X, negative X direction, but we see that this A location has these lines and they're not there for no reason. So I can resolve this position vector from O to A in terms of a Y, X, uh, y component and X component and a Z component. So I'm going to be able to get this force in vector form first. Force in vector form will equal the magnitude times the unit vector. The unit vector is going to be based on the position vector. So we have minus 2i plus 4j plus 4k. And the length of that is 6. So the position vector on the numerator is in meters. The length of that pipe is also in meters. So we are left with this unitless piece that can be resolved into my unit vector. I'm going to add that into my calculator, my vector A. And I'm going to calculate 620 times negative 2 divided by 6. So the x component, force in vector form, would equal minus 207i. Then we have 4 times 620 divided by 6 plus 413j. And then 620 times 4 divided by 6 plus 413. Okay. And those will all be newtons. And this is living in what I've defined the vector A. Alright. So we now know this force and where it's going relative to my x, y, and z coordinate systems. Now we know want to know how much of that is along this u axis. And the reason we want to know is this force will tend to pull this component through that support. And we're trying to figure out how much of this force is being pulled in that direction of the pivot. So um, Axis u, I can write with the unit vector. The x component is sine of 30. The y component is cosine 30. And the z component is 0. The so unit vector should be unitless. I'm going to add it into my calculator. I'm going to define this v vector b. So sine of 30, which would be 0.5. Uh, the y component is cosine of 30, 0.866, and the z component is 0. And if I want to confirm that this is a unit vector, I can use the absolute value of vector b and confirm that it's got a magnitude of 1. I could do the same thing where I confirm that the absolute value of vector 3, or A, is 620, right? Same as our magnitude. Okay, so to find out how much F projected onto U is vector F dotted onto the unit vector. So you're going to take your 
uh, x component times x component plus y component times y component plus z component times z component. This should be a scalar value. I'm going to take advantage of my calculator here, and I'm going to say vector a dotted on vector b, which is f dotted on u, and I will get 254.6 units. And that's the answer. 254.6 units. So what that means, if I look over here at my diagram, how much of F is projected onto U? That is the perpendicular. So if I drop a perpendicular of my force onto my axis, now again, this is a 2D triangle in a 3D world. So it's not exactly correct, but we're trying to represent that I've got a force and we're just dropping the perpendicular projection down. And then we have this component here that we just calculated. This is 255 newtons along the u-axis and we had 620 Newtons of force. Using the Pythagorean theorem, the force that's perpendicular um, would be the square root of 620 squared minus 255 squared. And that's going to represent how much of this force is trying to pull this yoke out of the holder. How much is trying to pull it out versus how much is trying to pull it along the line of rotation. So these are forces we'll have to deal with later when we're trying to figure out are the restraints enough? Are the reactions enough to keep something in place? So this force acts as 255 newtons pulling along the line that it can rotate around and um, the opposite going pulling out of its rotation. The reason I have not calculated this yet is I want to use this 255. I want to use the value that's in here um, as an answer. That's what the value I had before. And to find that in vector form, I can multiply that by my unit vector, vector b. So if I were asked to state f onto u as a vector, it would be 127i plus 221j plus zero K Newtons. Okay. And that should make sense that this force vector that lives in the XY plane has only X and Y components. All right, now if I want to write this, um, calculate this value, Uh, 565 newtons. So that force pulled along OA has 565 newtons force pulling it out of the yoke and 255 newtons of force pulling along that rotational axis. Um, I hope that helps really get um, some understanding of how to use the calculator functions, but also why we're looking for these projections of forces along these alternate lines.